the modern era or the era that we live in can easily be called the age of plastics. If you look around you, you will be surprised to find out how much plastic is present in our lives. Starting from kitchen appliances to living room articles to office equipment, including mobile phones and computers, you will find hundreds of things that are made out of plastic. In the world of manufacturing material, plastic is second to none other than only steel. After steel, plastic is the most widely used material because of its low price, adaptability, variability and durability. While the steel industry is facing a crunch due to high input costs, the Indian plastic industry is booming. India is the third largest consumer of plastics after US and China, with a strong takeoff from industries like packaging, automotive, electronics and infrastructure sector. The growth is expected to increase further. This constant requirement of plastics and the need to constantly innovate and do better so as to keep catering to the fickle consumers has created a plethora of opportunities for engineers who specialize in the area of plastics. One such unique opportunity is that for a plastic dye engineer. A plastic dye engineer produces dyes for sample or mass production of plastic parts from drawings or its specifications. The designing and fabricating dye is done with the help of CAD CAM system. Most of the machining is done on CNC machining centers. The machine parts are then polished according to requirements and assembled to keep it ready for testing. The finished dye has to be mounted on an injection molding machine and defect free parts need to be produced. Plastic dye engineers are a critical link in the overall plastic injection molding process. Plastic injection molded components in the field of telecom, automobile, home appliances, office automation and entertainment electronics etc. provide myriad obstacles and challenges from dye design to dye making, inspection and the troubleshooting of molding defects. A plastic dye engineer does the following. Modify or develop a plastic product, analyze the manufacturing feasibility, manufacture and test a prototype, design a production dye, estimate the cost, work from engineering drawing or design, create necessary plans and programs, manufacture the dye, test the dye, troubleshoot the dye, inspect the dye and the product, approve the dye for production. To give the Indian plastic dye engineering students a more global perspective in their field, the National Skills Development Corporation NSDC participated in the Plastic Dye Engineering Competition for World Skills 2013 held at Leipzig, Germany, ably represented by Jitin Benny, who had qualified to participate in World Skills after winning both the regional and the national competition. The World Skills Competition is the flagship event of World Skills International, a membership organization made up of 65 countries and regions to promote skilling amongst the youth of the world. World Skills International is growing rapidly and its members now represent over 70% of the world population. In 2013, World Skills was held in the beautiful German town of Leipzig where Team India participated in 22 skills with skills ranging from cooking, confectionery, hair designing, beauty therapy, CNC milling, jewelry making, robotics, fashion, graphic designing, etc. In the plastic dye engineering segment, the required skills are numeracy, critical thinking, reading technical drawings, being analytical, mold designing, hand and machining, polishing, assembling, testing and troubleshooting skills, etc. At the competition, the competitors are judged on their ability to design and draw a unit die with AutoCAD Inventor software, machine the die as per the drawing, polish and assemble the die as per requirement, produce defect-free component as per specification. It was a matter of pride for Jitin when he wore the Indian colors and represented India and created both a benchmark as well as an inspirational model for the other young Indian students to follow.